Hello and welcome to Geo Snippets. I'm Head Hard Hat. In the next few minutes, we're going to give you an interesting tutorial about geocaching. In today's episode, we are going to take care of a very commonly asked question. Many geocachers like to have graphical representation of what they do with their geocaching and shown it in their profile on geocaching.com. We're going to look at three different applications. One's called Cache Stats, one's called GSAC, and the other one's called My Geocaching Profile. Now to accomplish this, we're going to look at each of those three applications. We're going to show you how to copy the code from those applications, and then we're going to show you how to paste that code into your profile on geocaching.com. So let's get started by taking a look at the first of those applications, and which is Cache Stats. Okay, starting with our first application is Cache Stats. It's a very easy and very basic application to use. It's very configurable, so you can go through and put all the information that you would want to put into your uh, profile. When ready, you simply click the Export to HTML button. It brings a second configurable box for you to uh, add tweakings if you'd like. When ready, you'd click the Copy to Clipboard button, and this literally loads it into your saving clipboard just as if you did a copy of any other file or text. This shows you what it'll look like when you paste it into your geocaching.com profile. It has all the information about all your geocaches right down to the difficulties, your first defines, the maps that you have uh, found geocaches in. Very basic, but fits many people's needs as being a very good application. Our second application is GSAC, the geocaching Swiss Army Knife. Uh, GSAC is a little more complicated where it uses what is known as macros to run different applications within GSAC itself. In this particular case, the, you want to select from the file area, macro, and then run manage. Uh, this shows you a listing of different macros that I have for GSAC. The one that we're looking for is Find Stat Gen 3 which is the macro that runs the generator for statistics. Uh, you can get that uh, online uh, right off of their online macro index. Uh, it brings up the front end of it. You click Run, and then you click OK. It starts, uh, and then here is a gives you the representation of what you get uh, from GSAC compared to uh, cache stats. It's a little more verbose, a little more information in there, a uh, little bit of a learning curve to learn how to run it, but quite easy to do. And uh, this I have seen uh, quite a bit when you look at different geocaches profiles. Uh, not necessarily more information, but just a different presentation, how it uh, is given in the profile itself. Very cool. Our third and final example is not an application at all, but actually a website called My Geocaching Profile. In this particular uh, website, you upload your .gpx file, and you create a profile that creates this wonderful graphical representation, very similar to the other applications that we looked at. Uh, you can update it anytime you want for free and uh, it shows you pretty much the same type of information that uh, the other applications have. The one thing that this particular website does is not only does it give all your uh, geocache uh, information that you need, it also includes what's known as the DeLorme challenges. What those are is uh, many of the states in the United States are broken up into different sectors, like you see here for Georgia and North Carolina. Uh, when you find caches in those sectors, you fulfill a requirement for that sector. When you get all the sectors done, you get the entire final for the challenge. So that's one of the cool things about this particular cache. Uh, for this, you go through and collect export to HTML. It's going to bring up another 
another web uh, page that is going to have all the code that you want to cut and paste. In this particular case, you want to do a select all or a control A uh, by clicking that center box section. When you do the control A, everything will light up. You will then want to copy it by doing a right click copy or a control C to copy it into the clipboard. Once that is done, you are ready to go on to geocaching.com and paste this into your profile. Okay, let's get that final phase in here by taking that code that you decided to use out of which it were the three applications, copy it into the clipboard and paste it into geocaching.com. You uh, have your account for geocaching.com, and in the upper right corner of their web page, you see your uh, account information. You want to click on the My Account link. This will bring up your account information on everything that you do with geocaching, from finding your travel bugs, the geocaches you found, all the information you want to do. It also shows parts where you can have... Uh, the stats and I'm showing you a brief rundown you've seen it already three times let's get into actually working with it you want to click on to edit your profile when you do that it's going to bring up your page that gives all the information that shows up in your profile itself it also has some background information about yourself that shows up like your po your photograph your avatar all of those type things. What you're looking for is at the very bottom where it has um, your profile details. In there you're going to see a bunch of code and I'm showing a close-up of that here. This is where you do the paste. Uh, the easiest thing for me to explain to you here is that if there's anything in here do a control A like you did before get rid of the code that you do not want, do a control X or a delete to get rid of it, and then click down again with the cursor and then do a paste or a control V as in Vicky. And all that code that was in the clipboard will load into this. Once it's there, you want to do update account. Now you're going to do like I just did here and forget to put in your password. Go up fill in your password, go back down, click update account again, and it will save all that code that you just retrieved in your profile. Go back and view your profile and you will now see all that information in your profile. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Once you do it once or twice and uh, play around with it, it will become easy for you. And now these are things you should know. Hey folks, Head Hard Hat here with a little information that hopefully you'll find useful. When you go out geocaching, especially if you're going into an area that's isolated, be it the woods, a forest, a desert, the mountains, what have you, make sure you always care with you a standard compass. Now I know we all have our fancy schmancy GPS devices and that's great, but those devices can fail. The batteries can run out, you can drop or lose the device, and then where are you at? Always have a compass with you for a backup. That way you can always find your way home. Another little tidbit from the head hard hat to you. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Geo Snippets and come back real soon, where we have even more information and tidbits about the game, sport, and obsession known as geocaching. This is Head Hard Hat saying we hope to see you out on the trails. Bye bye, folks.